All right, today I'm going to demonstrate how to plant a tree. Uh, we have a containerized seedling. Um, so this is probably only two years old. This is a little river birch planting it in my backyard. Um, got a nice spot that's pretty sunny for a lot of the day. Um, I dug out a non-native shrub uh, that wasn't here, so that's why this hole is very big. But typically what you want to do is only dig a hole that's about twice as wide as your uh, pot that, you're, that, you, that the tree came in, and only a little bit deeper. If you dig too much deeper, it settles in, and sometimes it, it can get a little bit smothered. Um, we don't want, we want the soil to be right about at the surface of what the soil is in the pot. Um, so what I do is I dig a hole, normally a much smaller hole than this, and I put the pot in to see if it's about that level. Um, I have a little bit of loose soil in here. Should have put gloves on. Uh, all right, so right about there, it'll be flush. So you wanna squeeze it out of your pot, gently. Um, a really important thing to do is to break up this soil a good bit. Um, we don't want the roots to be bound, uh, meaning that they don't spread out. We want them to spread out, so you want to break that root up as much as you can. You don't have to do too, too much, but just so that it'll start to grow out instead of just kind of sitting in place. And then right about even, and then we'll backfill here. If it seems like it's going to be too low, we can kind of tug it up a bit. You don't want to really compact the soil around it. Um, you want it to be tight, but not uh, not too compacted. Um, and if it's too loose, then it'll kind of start to settle out. So you just want to pat it down lightly, again, so that it's roughly uh, even with the soil around it. And you really should wear gloves <laughs> for safety. Because if you don't wear gloves when you start, you end up like this for now I may as well not put gloves on. And then you're asking for trouble. Okay, so as you can see, it's about even. We have a small depression here, which will help capture water. Um, which will be important to keep this little guy alive. Uh, since we're planting now at the very, very tail end of March, we should have plenty of rain here with this wettest season um, to help it settle in. When you first plant it, you're only planting a couple, it's a good idea to give it a little bit of water. Um, but over the course of the summer, if it seems like it needs some water, then go ahead and give it water. Uh, most trees get more water than they need rather than the other way around. Uh, so um, don't be too generous. Don't be too nervous that it's not getting enough. And then, of course, uh, don't let your dog bother the little seedling too much. So now we're going to demonstrate uh, how to plant a bare root seedling. Okay, so now this is a bare root seedling. Um, it comes shipped typically in just a cardboard box. Um, this is great because they're very cheap to buy a lot of them, very easy to plant, um, very easy to plant quickly. Usually what I do when I'm planting hundreds is I just take a shovel and uh, make a little score into the dirt, open it up, stick it in, make sure the roots are down, close it back up. But I have a little bit more time here. I'm not planting hundreds uh, this afternoon. So uh, what you want to do is, again, dig a hole that's not too much bigger than that root wad. The bigger it is, the harder it's going to be um, to fill back in in a correct fashion. So we want to make sure that the roots are down and retain their structure. We don't want them to hook up like that, make a J shape um, or a loop. Um, we want to main maintain the structure. Um, if the roots get too tangled up, it's going to cause trouble for this plant going into the future. So um, what I recommend you do is actually build that structure into the hole. So I'm maintaining that. I'm going to put a little, a loose cone beneath it. Oh, hold on. Here we go. So that it's sitting on top of a cone. This is uh, some soil from some beds I had last year. You don't have to put fertilized soil in. Um, native plants tend to do pretty well in, in whatever you give them, as long as it's the right moisture conditions for that plant. But I happen to have a little bit, so it'll help me fill this back up. Well, um, this here is a service berry, Allegheny service berry, so um, Amelanchier canadensis. No, sorry, it's uh, American service berry, Amelanchier canadensis. Um, so this will be really good wildflowers for pollinators good berries for the birds, and if we get a chance to eat any of them, that'll be great too. So again, we want to make sure the soil is pushed in, not compacted, but uh, but nice and firm, and we want to make sure the soil is roughly um, a little bit above that root collar. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of water, 
in this little depression area here. You don't have to water them again um, over the summer too, too much, just if it seems like they need it. So if it's got been a couple weeks without rain, um, or if it's a very wet loving plant um, that you're gonna need to give it more water, obviously, um, for the first couple years. So it really gets established and has enough root mass to be able to handle itself. But there we go, planting trees. Um, best thing you could possibly do for water, air, wildlife, uh, human life is, is plant more trees. So get at it and we'll see you next month.